Welcome to the World of Warcraft Survival Guide for Patch 7.2, The Tomb of Sargeras. In this video, we'll bring you up to speed on all the changes and new features coming in 7.2. Up first, we're taking the fight to the Burning Legion on the Broken Shore. The campaign begins with Khadgar in Dalaran, who sends you on a mission to strike at the heart of the Legion's base of operations. After a short scenario, you'll have established a base on the Broken Shore and unlocked a ton of new content including new world quests, rare monsters, and a region-wide cross-faction effort to help the armies of Legionfall keep hold of the Broken Shore. In the process, you'll discover a quest that sends you in search of a secret Legion communication, which will eventually lead to upgrading your artifact with several new traits and a new rank in many of your current traits. You'll also be given a highly challenging single-player mission that will test your abilities and ultimately unlock a new artifact appearance. While we're establishing a foothold on the Broken Shore, the Burning Legion has already begun all-out assaults on the other zones in the Broken Isles. To push them back, you'll need to complete a series of world quests in a given zone, followed by a daring mission to infiltrate and take down the Legion command ship. Legion assaults can reward gear, reputation, and even experience for players below level 110. Patch 7.2 will also allow you to complete Part 2 of the Legion Pathfinder achievement and soar into the skies above the Broken Isles. To do so, you'll need to explore the Broken Shore, fend off the Legion assaults, and earn revered with the new Armies of Legionfall faction. Once you've earned both Legion Pathfinder achievements, flying in the Broken Isles will be unlocked for all characters on your account, including your lower-level alts. 7-2 introduces PvP brawls, which bring exciting new twists to some classic favorites. In Arathi Blizzard, winter has come to Arathi Basin, with frozen lakes, blankets of snow, and low visibility. In Gravity Laps, Eye of the Storm is experiencing some, let's say, instability, adding an extra layer of mayhem. And these are only a couple of examples. There will be a different PvP brawl every other week, and we'll be adding more into the rotation as time goes on. 7-2 has a brand new five-player dungeon available at all difficulty levels, the Cathedral of Eternal Night. You'll ascend the tower above the Tomb of Sargeras alongside Maiev and Illidan in order to unleash the power of the Aegis of Agrimar, one of the pillars of creation, and strike a decisive blow against the Legion. On top of that, we've made several updates and tweaks to the rest of Legion's five-player dungeons. The Arcway and the Court of Stars can now be completed on heroic difficulty, and have been added to the Dungeon Finder. We've added new affixes to Mythic Keystones and brought Upper and Lower Karazhan into the mix. And if you're not quite ready to take on those challenges, don't worry, we've increased the item level of the rewards from all dungeons, as well as what you can earn from World Quests and Emissary Bags to help you tackle the new 7-2 content. These are some of the biggest things coming in Patch 7-2, but there's a lot more, including a pet battle dungeon, new Order Hall followers and improvements, increases to artifact knowledge, and a new Transmog Sets feature, just to name a few. As the Legion Fall campaign continues, you'll also be able to earn a class-specific mount and eventually take the fight directly to the Legion's home base in the Tomb of Sargeras raid. You can read more on our website at worldofwarcraft.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the Broken Shore.